Okay, now we're ready to assemble this, but to assemble it, we actually have to take it apart. So take your uh, small centering ring out of the back. I like to use the motor mount to do that. And then slip these two centering rings off. Okay, and now take your, your um, spring for your, or your piece of steel for your um, engine clip here. Make sure it fits in that slot and slide it down here. Now we're going to slide both of these rings on, but we're going to slide them down from the top side because it's easier to slide them from the top side. Don't try and slide them on this side. So we've got the first one on there and just slide it down. It's going to be a little harder to slide because you have that metal clip there now. And slide it down somewhat somewhere near that 12 millimeter mark. It doesn't really matter where it is right now. And now the second one, before you slide it on, we need to be sure to put the shock cord on because we want it on the other side of that. So take your shock cord and take the short end where you tied the knot and put it through here. Um, and just, you can leave some extra there. It doesn't matter. And then this will be a little harder because you've got the shock cord in there, but slide that on there. There we go. And slide that one down so it's over the motor clip. All right. And then you can uh, double check to make sure that this one fits in the top. So that's how we're going to put it all together. There's no glue on it yet, and I don't have these centering rings exactly in the same place. But I want you to go dry fit all that together with your shock cord. So make sure you got your motor clip, your two centering rings on the outside, your shock cord underneath that one, and then your other um, centering ring that's your engine block here at that end. And put all those all together without using any glue. All right, so go do that now.